What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X, and as you guys know, Verizon kind of quietly updated the Verizon S5, and it has been updated to the N2K build. Now, with that being said, uh, if you are currently rooted and you have SafeStrap installed, what you'll want to do before accepting the NK2 update is you will want to go into SafeStrap. Uh, you may, if you are on a custom ROM, you'll want to make sure that you get back to your stock ROM before uninstalling SafeStrap. So before you uninstall the application, you'll want to go inside the application, make sure you uninstall the recovery, then you can uninstall the app, then you can go into your Super SU application. I've already done this, and uh, SU is not Super SU is not even on my phone. Uh, what you want to do is jump into the Super SU application, go into settings, and then choose the option to do a full unroot. Once you have restored stock recovery and your phone is unrooted, you should be able to go into settings and system updates check for a new update it'll find that nk2 update it'll go ahead and download it and then you can install it if for some reason it will not install if you can't get rid of the safe strap recovery or uh, just for any reason whatsoever maybe you have a system application that has been changed or a system file that's been changed and it just will not install uh, you will need to download the stock image for ni2 and you'll have to flash that in Odin. I'll be sure to include links in the description where to grab that. Big shout outs to Open One Your One I Zero. He has provided us with the NK2 kernel so that we can go ahead and root the NK2 update, which is what we're gonna do today. So what we'll wanna do first is we wanna go ahead and boot the phone off and jump into Odin mode. Now I'll be sure to include a link in the description to all the files that are necessary. You're gonna need the NCG kernel. You're gonna need Tau root and you are going to need the NK2 kernel. Now I suggest going ahead and downloading Talroot by visiting Talroot.com. Grab that application, have it installed on your device prior to flashing the NCG kernel because once you flash the NCG kernel, your phone is gonna go haywire. It's not gonna want to uh, load anything. You're gonna get all kinds of force closes. It's gonna be very hard to navigate around in your device with an NCG kernel installed. So to boot into Odin mode, we're just gonna go, uh, we're gonna go volume down Volume down, home, and power. Okay, when you see the screen, we're going to hit volume up to continue. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in our device. Okay, so once your device is plugged in, we'll go ahead and open the Odin. Okay, so in Odin, you'll want to make sure that the PC can see your phone. So far, Odin cannot see my phone, so I'm going to just unplug and replug the USB cable. When you see the phone appear, uh, you just need to see something here in this box. So right here it says 0 com 10. Anything in that box means that Odin can see your phone. From there, we're just going to select the AP. And then we'll choose our NCG kernel. Okay, so we'll select the NCG stock kernel. Go ahead and open that and it should populate here. Once it populates, we're ready to flash. So we'll go ahead and select start. And that's going to flash the kernel. You'll see a progress bar on your device and you'll see a progress bar uh, right there on the screen. Okay, so it is now rebooting the phone. Okay, when the kernel's finished flashing, you will see uh, pass here and you can go ahead and unplug your device. The phone will reboot automatically if you have auto reboot selected. And right now it's just upgrading, it's telling the phone, hey, we're running the NCG kernel. So as soon as this finishes, as soon as the phone boots, you're just going to have to really push through. It'd be like uh, you're walking in quicksand for a minute here. You're going to push through and uh, open up that Talroot APK and root the phone. So going to our app drawer, you guys can see just how incredibly sluggish the phone is. It's almost pretty much unusable <clears throat> with that NCG kernel installed. Okay, so we're going to Tau Root. Now, when we hit the button, make it rain, it's going to act like it takes forever, but it will finally root the phone. So just click the button, install root. If your phone reboots, Tau Root has failed. We'll go ahead and click make it rain. Now, like I said, it's going to seem to take forever uh, before this actually does what it's supposed to do. And you guys can already see there's some applications crashing here. Okay, it says thank you for using Tau Root. You should have root. No reboot required. If you enjoyed, please donate at Tyroot.com. So I do suggest that you do, if you haven't already, go ahead and make a donation to GeoHot for this awesome root method. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and power off the device. My phone is actually overheating now, so I definitely want to go ahead and power, power it off. 
even just bringing up that reboot menu is difficult here. Uh, power off if we can. Or alternatively, you just hold the uh, volume down, home, and power button. Just keep holding in them until the download mode or Odin mode uh, comes up. Or you could just pull your battery, I guess. Okay, so now that we are in Odin mode, we'll go ahead and click up to continue, and then we'll plug our phone up to our computer. We'll exit out of Odin and relaunch it. Plug your phone up to your USB and set that to the side. Okay, so when Odin is up and running, you verify that your uh, Odin does see your phone here. We'll go ahead and select AP. And now we'll select the NK2 kernel provided by Open One Your Eyes 1.0. Big shout out to him once again for that. Select the NK2 stock kernel. Okay, and once that is here, we'll go ahead and start the process. And once again, uh, you'll notice progress bars on your phone and also in Odin. Okay, so when it's finished, it will go ahead and reboot your device. And as soon as it says pass here, we can go ahead and unplug our phone from the computer. And you'll want to grab an application like Root Checker just to verify that we do have root access. Okay, so when we're all booted back up, we'll want to go into the Play Store. And we want to grab the Super SU application by Chainfire. Go ahead and install that. Okay, once that's installed, we'll go ahead and open that and make sure that our binaries are updated. It says the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue. We'll continue, and then we're going to install those normally. Okay, installation success is recommended to reboot your device now. So we will go ahead and select OK. We're just going to verify that we are indeed rooted. So we'll go to an application like uh, Root Checker. And we will select Verify Root. Now it should give us a super user request if we are indeed rooted, which we are. We'll go ahead and grant that and it should tell us that the device is rooted, which it does. So now we are running NK2, which is the very latest over the year update from Verizon for the Galaxy S5 and we are rooted. Once again, big shout outs to GeoHot for the root method. Uh, also big shout outs to Open One Your One i 0 for the NK2 kernel. We wouldn't be able to uh, root this phone without the NK2 kernel kernel or at least we wouldn't be able to root this build that about wraps it up for this video guys if you like the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com follow me on twitter at droidmoderx thanks guys for watching be blessed i'll see you in the next one